I've been asked a lot from people on YouTube about why do I think Prince was underrated uh, when it came to the guitar community. Why has it taken so many longtime guitar players like myself to realize how great he was? I spent a lot of time thinking about that. I want to do a little bit of a discussion with you guys about that. Talk about a couple of Prince related things. But before we get started, I want you guys to know that uh, there have been a number of videos that I've made recently, including some Prince videos, reaction videos, that have been blocked on YouTube. And, uh, you know, it's not look like I'm trying to monetize them or anything. I don't even have a thousand subscribers, but uh, we are moving in the right direction. But if any of you guys have any advice, what I should do, I have them stored on my library of made videos. I've thought about opening up a Vimeo account and uploading them. Not sure what you guys think. So, I want you guys to know that. So, Prince, the question was, why, coming from someone who's been a long-time guitar player, really coming from the guitar community, why was Prince not really uh, acknowledged for his guitar playing? Well, someone had mentioned in the comments that in the early years, he didn't, it wasn't so much about his lead guitar playing, although he definitely did some. My earliest memories are of Purple Rain. I remember that song would come on the radio. I remember seeing some things when I was young of him doing some stuff with the guitar with a wah pedal. I think, you know, again, guys, we're just having open, honest dialogue here. Uh, going back, I have a massive library of guitar magazines. Guitar World, Guitar for the Practicing Musician, Guitar Player, from like the mid to late 80s, into the, well into the 90s. You know, some people had mentioned that Prince, he wasn't doing a lot of lead guitar in the 80s. He was focusing more on somewhat rhythm guitar. He was focusing more on the performance and the singing for live. He had a lead guitar player playing with him. I remember my memories of Prince back then are, you know, now of him being more of a front man, of him being more of um, a performer, you know, of this. Those were more of my memories of him. I remember, you know, in the guitar magazines, I don't really remember too many references at all about Prince. I could be, I could be wrong, and I know I don't have the best memory, but I have a pretty good memory for that. So, I remember this thing they were doing a, a poll amongst a whole bunch of popular guitar players at the time about who their favorite artist was or guitar player, and there's a fellow who played in a band, his name was Jason Beeler, and he played in a band called Saigon Kick. And they had a, a very modest, uh, brief hit with a song called Love Is On The Way. Love is on the way. And he said that Prince was his absolute favorite artist. He thought he was brilliant, da 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 da, da. And I remember at that time reading that going, huh, what? So I, I don't know, I guess, I'm guessing this is somewhere between 89 and 91 when I read that. Uh, in the 90s, you know, some people were saying that Prince was starting to do a lot more lead guitar playing. For me, my memories uh, in the 90s of music and guitar, times were changing. Like a lot of the hard rock bands, the shredding guitar players, that wasn't so much in vogue anymore. Uh, some of the heavier bands were really struggling. And there's a lot of focus became on the whole grunge movement. There was a lot of stuff going on uh, in music, uh, a lot of changes. So... Someone had mentioned that Prince wasn't as popular in the 90s. That I, I don't really remember. That's a bit of a haze to me. You know, although I have been a lifelong guitar player, I've had a number of years of my life where I was more focused on pursuing a few other things. You know, I might get to the point, you guys know that I'm a very reclusive person. I'm a relatively private person. I'm barely on social media anymore. I've lived a crazy life. Like crazy. <laughs> it could be like something out of a Hollywood movie, really. If things get to that point, and if I am have enough of a following, maybe I'll delve into that a little bit more. But I've had times in my life where, you know, I, I wasn't quite into the guitar as much, and I would do other pursuits. Uh, when I look at some of these amazing people in music, uh, famous guitar players, I'm like, have you ever just wanted to put the guitar down for a couple of months and take a break? Uh, but anyway, nonetheless... Going back as well, I think more, I was more focused with the guitar. I was more focused on this. Uh, and 
and my technique. I was I was very focused on that. I didn't get the whole performance aspect of it. it. That took a lot longer to really get and understand. One of the things about prints that we've talked about and agreed to in our discussions on YouTube, he was way ahead of his time. He he not only was he musically smart, songwriter proficient on so many different uh, instruments. He got it very young that the performance was everything. I mean, you could be the greatest guitar player in the world, but if your performance isn't good, he was really going to care, right? Also, you know, I, I could name, I won't, but I could name some, like, world-class, amazing virtuoso guitar players that, you know, made a living from music, but probably weren't recognized as much as they should have been or could have been because their performance was very mediocre at best. You know, they would just have a few guitar heads go to their gigs to just stare and watch them play. Actually, I could probably name a number of people, but I won't do that. So those are my thoughts as to why, you know, and guys, we're just having open and honest dialogue. I think when I was younger, I was like a very uh, testosterone-driven, type A, um, A personality. You know, I, you know, I was really into music, but I was also into working out and contact sports and I think maybe there was a part of it with Prince at the time I just didn't get, you know, just kind of like how he dressed and some of the stuff he did. I At the time, I just, I, it was probably really over my head. I, you know, I was kind of like a musical jock, so to speak. Uh, but those are my thoughts as to why I think he just didn't maybe translate over to the hardcore guitar audience, and it's really too bad. But I think a lot of the really hardcore guitar audience uh, they thought of Prince as more of, you know, a dancer, singer, and entertainer more so than a guitar player. On that note, we're having this discussion. I was going to do a separate video, but let's just have a really quick talk about this. Purple Rain. So I remember when this movie came out, I was quite young. Um, but I always wanted to, even going back a while before I started talking about Prince on YouTube, more so recently in the past few months, I wanted to really look at things from an older perspective. When you get older, you can look at things much differently. You have a different vantage point with wisdom, life experience. I actually found this out in the middle of nowhere at a garage sale. I think I paid 50 cents Canadian for this. But I need to talk to you guys because you know that I'm a fan of Prince now. Every week that goes by, I'm more and more of a fan. There was just some stuff I just didn't get this movie. I didn't get it. And I want to get it, okay? I'm one of those people that wants to get it. Uh, there's some some parts that, to me, were just, like, really bizarre. Why should he do your music? He's been getting along just fine without it. Next thing you know, you'd be wanting to use his motorcycle. And I don't know what it was. I am going to set some time aside and try watching it again. I want to get it. But if you guys could give me your rundown, your thoughts on Purple Rain, because uh, I think somehow, like Prince in general, when I was younger, uh, it just went over my head. So uh, I'm hoping that you guys can fill me in on that. So those are my thoughts. I want to just do a personal vlog uh, to talk to you guys. You guys really kind of aren't just friends. We're, we're almost kind of our own little family now when it comes to Prince. And uh, I like learning about it. And I like learning more and more. And you guys keep uh, suggesting many great performances. I prefer the live performances over just audio because I like to see the performance. You can get into it more, I think. And I think you guys are saying that you like more of you you like my perspective as a professional musician, longtime musician, guitar player, on things. Uh, if there's anything else or any suggestions you guys have that you'd like to see me do or do on my channel, I really appreciate it, guys. I appreciate everything so much. All right. So remember, practice smart, practice hard, or practice hard, practice smart. We'll see you soon.